Hey kids, welcome to lesson 14, building an app, image scroller, multiple keys. If you want your program to respond differently to a couple different keys, you'll need to use a chained conditional statement. That's an if or an else if statement. Let's set up the program to play a different sound for the down key. We have it do this. We've added another sound to the app, but it's just sitting at the top of the code. Add an else if statement to check if the down arrow was pressed. We're going to move the play sound command from the top of the program inside the else if statement. Notice that in the example, we switched to block mode to move this line because it's easier to move blocks around that way. You can just copy and paste the text too. Finally, we're going to test the program. It should play one sound when the arrow is up and then play a separate sound when the down arrow is pressed. It shouldn't make any other sound if any other keys are pressed. Well, this definitely is interesting. And I know you kids aren't going to spam my class with up and down sounds. Either way, this one's going to be a lot of fun. What do we need to do here? Well, we need to add an else if statement when the down arrow is pressed. Where are we going to do that at? Looking down here at our code, we have our code from last lesson. This is just making the sounds play when the up key is pressed. This looks like the sound clip that I need to move down when the down key is pressed. Where are we going to put the else if statement? Well, if my if statement's right here, my else if is going to be right after it. So right after this brace right here, I'm going to put else if. And just like the above, event.key equal equal to down. We need another brace to close that off. Then we're going to play this sound here. What sound? This whole thing right here. I'm going to have control C, copy it, move my code up, paste over there. How it is now on the event screen one is a key down pressed. We're going to get a console.log statement. And that's just going to spit out whatever key I am touching. If that key happens to be up, we're going to play one sound. If that key happens to be down, we're going to press another sound. Remember from my last lesson, though, that the words were uppercase for the first letter. So we're going to change ours to the same uppercase there. If I kept it lowercase and it's uppercase on my console.log, then it won't work. It has to be exactly the same. Well, let's test this ID out. We hit run. Let's hit our left key first. No sound. Right key, no sound. Our up key. And our down key. That is a fun sound. And no matter what else I hit, does not look like any other sounds play. Only up and down. Super fun. Looking back up here, we added an else if statement. When the down arrow is pressed, we move the play sound command inside our else if statement and then we ran the program and it worked exactly like we should one sound we pressed up another sound when we pressed down i think that's all code.org wanted from us let's see if they want anything else and nope good job kids i'll see you on the next lesson